Transitioning into uh, artificial intelligence, you know, we've been getting warnings from the likes of Elon Musk about um, stepping in with regulation to make sure, you know, people are people are concerned that AI will be able to break away from the programming co confines and um, in a way that kind of suggests consciousness and choice. So is self-replicating AI a true danger in your mind and how do you suggest we prepare for it? It's hard to... Uh, understate the importance of AI for the next decade and is it a danger is that there yes it's a danger um, I'm in the camp and Zuckerberg and Elon Musk have been going back and forth on this Zuckerberg's in the camp that things are gonna be okay Elon Musk is the is in the camp that things could get dangerous I'm in the camp that humans ultimately are good and the proper stops are gonna be in place that this won't get out of control I, I think it's good to kind of define what um, out of control is in AI is it's not going to be uh, experience like uh, robots building other robots, drone armies coming after and blowing things up. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about machines getting exponentially intelligent and being able to uh, take over power grids or uh, financial systems. Mm -hmm. That's probably the, the two biggest areas. And so the, the answer is we don't know because we're just, uh, AI today is about the intelligence of a worm. And we're probably going to reach human parity, most people who study it, is in 20 years. But at that point, the growth of AI intelligence is going to go up exponentially. So I think this is something that, uh, that we need to all, as a, as a globe, have better uh, controls on as far as how this plays out.